The white flag is up. Tape released. They're off in the seventh and final race over two miles. The Gulf's future stars, Ein H, grade two bumper. And it's Embassy Gardens who takes them along in the early stages from Sandor Clegane. Facile Vegas, Promlin on the outside and running the rail. It's what unites us, followed by the Capo Glory with the back two, the big Doyen and Khan Funak coming up to the winning post with the circuit to go. It's Embassy Gardens and Jody Townend leading by over three lengths to Sandor Clegane and Barry O'Neill second, third, the favorite facile Vegan Patrick Mullins, who's tracked closely by It's What Unites Us and Jamie Codd, the Capo Glory and Dar Allen come next, and then the big Doyen and Derek O'Connor in company with Karen Funnock and Ben Crawford at the back of the seven runner field with a mile and a half to go. And stretching further away, is Embassy Gardens now showing a good six lengths in front of Sandor Clegane. In third place is Facile Vegan, the red and blue jacket. In fourth, it's what unites us, and they're tracked by the Capo Glory. Then the big Doyen, the jewel winner, with the back marker, Khan Fanuk. Turning towards the back straight, little or no changes in the order of running. It's Embassy Gardens. Showing clearly in the lead from Sandor Clegane and Facile Vega. It's what unites us turns in fourth. A couple of lengths to the Capo Glory with the final couple. Ten furlongs to go. The big Doyen and Khan Fana. Heading down the back straight and with a reduced advantage. Embassy Gardens. Sandor Clegane has it tipped down to four lengths. In third is Facile Vega, who's followed by It's What Unites Us with the final three. Khan Funak, the Capo Glory, and the Big Doyen. Reaching the halfway stage in the Goff's Future Stars INH Grade 2 bumper. It's Embassy Gardens continuing to go along in the lead from Sandor Clegane. Facile Vega continues in third place. Then it's what unites us with the Big Doyen making a move on the inside. And then Khan Funak and the Capo Glory right across from the stand, seven furlongs to go. Embassy Gardens maintaining a lead of over four lengths with Sandor Clegane continuing to give chase. And then Facile Vegan, it's what unites us on the inside. Those two matching strides, followed by the big Doyen, the Capo Glory, and Khan Funnock. More than five furlongs to go, soon to make their exit from the back straight. Embassy Gardens and Jody Townend still in the lead from Sandor Clegane, Barry O'Neill. Little between Facile Vega, Patrick Mullins, and It's What Unites Us, Jamie Codd for the third. The big Doyen, Derek O'Connor on the inside of the Capo Glory, Dar Allen and Karen Funner continues at the rear of the field. Ben Crawford racing towards the four furlong point. Embassy Gardens has once again come back to Sandor Clegane, a couple of lengths between them, then Facile Vega, half a length in third. In fourth place, It's What Unites Us with Karen Funner picking up ground, the Capo Glory, and nudged along as the big Doyen at the back of the seven runner field with just over three furlongs to go. Working back for the home straight, and it's Embassy Gardens from Sandor Clegane. On the outside is Facile Vega, who is poised. Along with it's what unites us, Karn Funnock makes head headway on the outside. Over ridden along the Capo Glory and the Big Doyen. Turning into the straight and Facile Vega on the steel. Looms alongside Sandor Clegane. They've brushed aside Embassy Gardens and then Karn Funnock and it's what unites us. There's no holding a candle to Facile Vega here. Has absolutely accelerated away from Sandor Clegane. Karn Funnock is next in racing inside the final half furlong and the Ghost Future Stars. INH Grade 2 bumper Facile Vega is making it two out of two here at Leopardstown, bringing up a fabulous four-timer for Willie Mullins. Facile Vega wins by a big, big margin from Sandor Clegane. Cotton Funnock, it's what unites us at Embassy Gardens. Well, Facile Vega has won the bumper here at uh, Leopardstown. Patrick Mullins is going to walk in with me. You've ridden a lot of very good horses and a lot of very good bumpers. That was pretty special, wasn't it? That was that was pretty wild. We went a good gallop, and when I turned in and gave him a bit of, a bit of rain, just the ground he's covered is is lengthened the stride, and he's he's a bit special, I'd say. He's earned quotes of I think 11 to 10 for the Cheltenham bumper. Do you see, see him being that superior to all your nice bumper horses you've ridden this season? Well, I think Redemption Day is up there with him. Um, Looked very pacey Redemption Day, didn't he? 
Redemption. Yeah, Redemption. I would say this fellow was quicker today than he was at Christmas. Um, you know, he quickened much, he quickened quicker. Um, but Redemption Day would have to be in the conversation too. So there wouldn't be a massive amount between the two of them? Well, uh, it's, uh, it, it, I don't know if it's, um, it's tight enough, yeah, it's tight okay. enough. Yeah. And as far as this horse is concerned, how satisfying is it for you, for your, for your dad, for everyone in the team, to have these colours back on, out of that Mayor Quivega, the six-time festival winner, they kept her, they bred from her, they kept the foals, that's quite something. Uh, it's very special, you know, like Quivega was just before, kind of, I was getting the ride of the good horse and never got to sit in her, but... Um, to have the lads back again and they really enjoy it, you know, and, and fair play to keep her. It's a long road. It's a long road keeping them and breeding them. Not everyone does it. They could have took a lot of money for her. Um, so they, d they deserve this and they'll enjoy it. Yeah, things like this don't really happen normally, do they? No, it's very unusual for the good race mares to have very good uh, progeny, but um, Kivega was always a bit different. We know he's got the engine. Do you think he's got the right mindset to make up into an absolute top notch? What I loved about him both days was I lined him up um, he's had no cover and he's settled both days. You know, he's in, in your hands, he travels, but um, he's not fighting it. He, it makes life a lot easier as a jockey that I'm not having to look for cover or having to drop in or do different things. I can ride him wherever I want. Apart from him, what's impressed you the most today? Oh, um, <laughs> well, sure, look, uh, Bob Orn was, Bob Orn was, was very special, you know, uh, and I think he can prove again. Well done, Patrick. Thanks very much. Thanks.